My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Skyrim Power of the Vampire Act 2. This is Hill. For you guys, it's only probably been a week or two since my last episode. But for me, it's actually been months since I've recorded and played uh, Skyrim Power of the Vampire. And that's because I had recorded these episodes, you know, way in advance, because this game is just, frankly, so addicting that, you know, once you start playing it, you just can't stop. So, I had months worth of recordings done, and they're gone now. So, we're ready to start Act 2. And, you know, a lot of things have changed in a couple of months, as I'm sure you know. Coronavirus, COVID-19 shelter in place all that kind of stuff I know it's bad times going on in the world right now so hopefully we can take your mind off of that with our continued Skyrim gameplay alright so as we ended up in our last episode the end of act one we came across an old man in oh boy oh boy I'm forgetting the name of the town um let's just look at our our map here Riften okay we came across an old man in Riften that complained of strange noises coming from this echo deep mine that standing behind and um Carnabus, who was, you know, undergoing slight changes in his personality after doing the Book of Love quest. He's not all about just killing and killing and killing. He is trying to turn over a new leaf slightly. But he's still on his quest to destroy the Empire and the Aldemary Dominion. That's all coming well and good. All right, so enough of that, enough talking. Let's go ahead and continue with our mission. And as you may or may not know, this is the start of a DLC mod, which will be introduced shortly. Let's go. All right, Amran. I hear footsteps. This is definitely the place. Hmm, I still have my calming enchantment. Zamran. All right, I'll just go on without him then.
look. Testament to your fortitude. And just for that, I'm going to drink deeply. <laughs> Wondering if I need to go back and get Amran. I would hate for him to miss out on this adventure. But then again, I'm enjoying this. The hunt. Someone right there. sure that these people aren't too tough and add a little bit of poison. seen. All right, it's just iron. Take this for Amran if he ever shows up. Feels like it's been so long since I've hunted mortals. But these are allegedly bandits. So supposedly what I'm doing 
isn't considered evil. These people are so tough. I don't know what is he using that he drained my health so far. But not accomplished enough. <laughs> Someone walking around, it sounds like it could be Amran. So they're using crossbows too. certainly do have their share of gold on them. Whatever's going on here seems to be quite profitable. All right, it's time for more poison. is looks like they could be difficult <sighs> Bandit Chief's journal. Let's see what's going on here. Evening. Earlier today, a group of young men paid us a handsome fee to let them 
through the mines in the Dwemer area below. I was more than happy to oblige, but I couldn't imagine what they would want down there. I thought we were tough for coming this close to the ruins, but they went right inside. They already been down there for hours. They're probably dead. Late night, we were woken by several loud screams and crashes from below. We heard the clatter of metal on metal and loud mechanical grinding noises. The sounds continued for several minutes before. Ceasing abruptly, I can only imagine what went on down there. Some of the men wanted to leave, but I'll do no such thing. This cave is the perfect hideout for us, and I won't give it up just because of old myths and mysterious sounds. So everything the old man was saying is bearing out. Hmm, look at this. Flawless diamond. <laughs> Control weather. Interesting. Ring of glory. Hmm, increases magicka by 77. Valuable. Eerily quiet. Not sure how to pronounce that Mizub Thand I may have seen and still no Amran. This may mean that he won't be joining me at all. bow of muscle. <laughs> hmm, resist fire. I don't know my necklace, the firewalker usually is adequate to protect me from fire. Get this chest hidden back here. Uh-oh. 
weaken Centurion. Well, I guess there's nothing to fear. At all. Hmm, that's too bad it wasn't at full strength. I'd look forward to the challenge. Mercenaries didn't fare so well. Let me stock up on some blood here. fact that the inner thigh is actually the best place to draw blood. Hmm, so this is the mercenary leader. It's too bad. And what have you got? An ancient lexicon. I'll take that. Gold and his journal. Let's see what it says. After far too long of searching, we have finally found it. We have found the ancient lexicon and may now travel through the gate. Perhaps it was luck, perhaps it was fate. My family's work is no longer wasted and I can fulfill my grandfather's wishes. We are headed to the old buried ruins of Mazubthand tomorrow. I have worked a deal out with the local bandit leader to grant us passage, though we must still watch our backs as they are not to be trusted. We found the gate. It was just where the book said it would be. We are now going to secure the area and examine it real fast, then attempt to use the cube. It appears to have a control manifold we can use. It is a large dwarven centurion here that looks intact, but it is either slumber slumbering or dead as it has yet to make any sound or movement. Skajalm even tapped it jokingly with his sword, and we are confident that it will not harm us. I just hope this thing works. All right, well, something woke it up. Perhaps the lexicon. What? That glow. That unnerly glow. What does it mean? My mask, it's worn off best reapply it. There's no telling what I may encounter. There. All right, well, I suppose this is going to be a solo mission for me, unless Amran somehow finds his way here.
Oblivion! You there! Did you just come through that portal? Yes, I did. But if you just came through that, then... Then that would make you the Traveler, wouldn't it? Perhaps. But what is the Traveler? They who arrive through the Shimmering Gate mark the start of the worst. It's a, just a story, of course. I'm going to assume you're from Skyrim, and you somehow managed to get the portal working. My job would dictate that I arrest you right here and now. However, I'm in the middle of something important right now. If you give me a hand with it, afterwards you're free to go. I'm searching for a Nord named Machias. He's the blacksmithing apprentice in the nearby town of Ember Creek. I assume that since he isn't in here, he's in the nearby cave. Unfortunately, I can also assume that that cave is full of bandits. I'll still have to report your arrival to my superiors, but if you assist me, I'll say you were cooperative and helpful. Oh, also, the switch to lower these bars is out here, and it looks like your portal thing has shut off. Meaning, I'm the only one who can let you out. Okay, that sounds... fair. Alright, let me lower these bars for you. It's a good thing I've... eaten... before arriving. Or you would be my next meal. Yeah, let's get moving. I don't want to waste any more time. Of course not. And without Amran here to temper my judgment, I can't really vouch for the safety of these citizens. It's really a shame that he didn't make it. All right. Let's go and see what Falscar has to offer. <laughs>